Hi everyone, Michael Miller here, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to start a smokeless fire. So they say where there's smoke, there's fire. It doesn't have to be the other way around. If you do three things, start with nice dry firewood. Two, make sure you've got good airflow around the fire, underneath the fire, and through the fire itself, through stacking it nice and close, but not too close. And third, choose the right wind, the right time of day where the wind is minimal. So today we've got a little bit of a breezy day, but tonight the good news is almost every night when you're having a bonfire around sunset, that's when the wind dies down, it's perfect. All right, so let's start with a fire starter here. All right, we'll just drop that match on there. Now we're gonna lie some nice, dry firewood right alongside that fire starter. For good airflow, what I like to go with is the what I call the crosshatch method, kind of like old Lincoln logs. And sometimes if I have enough firewood alongside, I'm gonna go with a 433. Good base on it, then I'm gonna lie these logs, three of these logs right here, two, and three. And because it's nice dry wood, we're not getting any smoke at all. If you really want a big bonfire, put another stack of three right on top of that, you're good to go. What we don't want is that wet wood like bark. See, that this bark can be really smoky. If, it, if you can, if there's any bark on the wood, that's fine as long as it's dry. This is just wet bark that's gonna cause your guests a little bit of smoke and that's not what they want. They wanna be comfortable around the fire. All right, next time we're gonna be talking about fire safety. If you like this video, please click subscribe and we'll see you next time.